So far we have seen what is simple harmonic motion or SHM for short. Now we are going to see how to combine two simple harmonic motions together to get their composition. We are going to start with a simple case where we have a green and a red particle both executing simple harmonic motions of the same amplitude so they will be moving over the same distance of the same frequency so they will do so with the same rapidity but we are going to make one little change and that is the change in phase so here the two particles will differ in phase by 90 degrees here they will be in step or in phase let me describe what uh, what is meant by the phase difference so if you notice here both green and red particles are in the extreme position but here one is in the extreme one is in mean position and that difference continues here both have reached the mean position but here one is at mean the other is at extreme that is the meaning of phase difference so these two are uh, these two differ in phase by 90 or quarter of uh, oscillation but here they do not differ at all they are in step let's set them in motion so this is how they will look now to compose uh, these two SHMs to combine them we are going to project their positions so these are the projectors and wherever these two projectors meet we are going to place another particle so this purple ball so we are what we are observing now is the resultant of these two SHMs and we can trace the path of this resultant motion and the difference is really very striking here we are getting a perfect circle while here we are getting a straight line so that is the difference phase can make let us see one more example in this example too we have pairs of particles executing SHM so three such pairs we have taken and all these red particles will be executing identical SHMs same amplitude same frequency and even the same phase but these green particles are given twice the frequency as the red ones so when the red particle completes one oscillation the green would complete two and its phase also is successively varied for example here the two are in phase phase difference is 0 degrees here the phase difference is 45 degrees and in the third case it's 90 degrees let's set it in motion like before we are going to project their positions and wherever these projections meet we are going to place our resultant so the purple particle is executing the combination or composition of these two SHMs and finally let us see the path it follows so now you'll see there are two loops formed in the first case again two loops but little distorted in the second case and here the two are sort of flattened into this parabola like path so that's the difference when we have the frequencies in a ratio 1 is to 2 and the phases differ by 0 degree, 45 degree and 90 degree.